Hi there. So we're on day 27 of our Through the Bible in One Year in chronological order. We were talking about Joseph. And his brothers still don't know that it's Joseph. So maybe we'll find out today. Let's give it a read. <coughs> Three chapters today. <coughs> now the famine was severe in the land, and when they had eaten the grain that they had <coughs> brought from Egypt, their father said to them, Go again, buy as little buy us a little food. But Judah said to him, The man solemnly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you will send our brother with us, we will go down and buy food. <coughs> but if you will not send him, we will not go down. For the man said to us, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. Israel said, Why did you treat me so badly as to tell the man that you had another brother? They replied, the man questioned us carefully about ourselves and our kindred, saying, Is your father still alive? Do you have another brother? <clears throat> what we told him was an answer to these questions. Could we in any way know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Judah said to Israel, his father, Send the boy with me, and we will arise and go, that we may live and not die, both we and you and also our little ones. <clears throat> I will pledge of his safety. From my hand you shall require him. If I do not bring him back to you and set him before you, then let me bear the blame forever. If we had not delayed, we would now have returned twice. <clears throat> You're wasting time, huh? <clears throat> then their father Israel said to them, If it must be so, then do this. Take some of the choice fruits of the land in your bags and carry a present down to the man, a little balm and a little honey, gum, myrrh, pistachio nuts and almonds. Take double the money with you. Carry back with you the money that was returned in the mouth of your sacks. Perhaps it was an oversight. <clears throat> Take also your brother and arise and go, to, and go again to the man. May God Almighty grant your mercy before the man and may he send back your other brother and Benjamin. As for me, I am bereaved of my children. I am bereaved. Hmm. So the men took this present, and they took double the money with them. And Benjamin, they arose and went down to Egypt and stood before Joseph. When Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the steward of his house, Bring the men into the house, and slaughter an animal, and make ready for the men, or to dine with me at noon. The man did as Joseph told him, and brought the men to Joseph's house. And the men were afraid because they were brought to Joseph's house. They said, It is because of the money which was replaced in our sacks the first time that we were brought in, so that he may assault us and fall upon us to make us servants and seize our donkeys. <clears throat> so they went up to the steward of Joseph's house and spoke with him at the door to the house and said, O oh my Lord, we come down the first time to buy food. And when we came, the lodging place, we opened our sack, and there was each man's money in the mouth of his sack. Our money was in full weight, so we have brought it again with us, and we have brought other money down with us to buy food. We do not know who put our money in our sacks. He replied, Peace to you, do not be afraid. Your God and the God of your father has put treasure in your sacks for you. I received the money. <coughs> then he brought Simeon out to them. And, the, and when the man had brought out the men into Joseph's house and given them water, and they had washed their feet, and when he had given their donkeys fodder, they prepared the present for Joseph's coming at noon, for they had heard that they would, would eat bread there. <clears throat> when Joseph came home, they brought into the house to him the present that they had with them, bowed down to him to the ground, and he inquired about their welfare and said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? They said, Your servant, our father, is well. He is still alive. And they bowed their heads and prostrated themselves. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your youngest brother, of whom you spoke to me? God be gracious to you, my son. Then Joseph hurried out, for his compassion grew warm for his brother. <laughs> Joseph hurried out. <clears throat> and he sought a place to weep. And he entered his chamber and wept there. Then he washed his face and came out, controlling himself. He said, Serve the food. They served him, they served him by himself. And then by themselves, and the Egypts who ate with him by themselves, because the Egyptians could not eat with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination to the Egyptians. <clears throat> and they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth. And the men looked at one another in amazement. Portions were taken to them from Joseph's table, but Benjamin's portion was five times as much as their, any of theirs. And they drank and were merry with him. 
Okay, Joseph tests his brothers. Then he commanded the steward of his house, Fill the men's sacks with food, as much as they can carry, and put each man's money in the mouth of his sack, and put my cup, the silver cup, in the mouth of the sack of the youngest, with his money for the grain. And he did as Joseph told him. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away with their donkeys. They had only gone a short distance from the city. Now Joseph said to his steward, Up, follow after the men. When you overtake them, say to them, Why have you repaid evil for good? Is it not from this that my Lord drinks, <clears throat> and by this that he practices divination? You have done evil in doing this. So he put the cup in there, and he's going to accuse them of stealing it. When he overtook them, he spoke to them in these words. And he said to them, Why does my Lord speak such words as these? Far be it from your service to do such a thing. Behold, the money that we found in the mass of our sex we brought back to you from the land of Canaan. How then could we steal silver or gold from your Lord's house? Whichever your servants has found with it shall die, and we, sh and we will also be made my Lord's servants. He said, Let it be as you say. He who was found with it shall be my servant, and the rest of you shall be innocent. Then each man quickly lowered his sack to the ground, and each man opened his sack as he searched beginning with the eldest, I mean with the youngest, and the cup was found in Benjamin's sack, where he put it. <clears throat> then they tore their clothes, and every man loaded his donkey and returned to the city. When Judah and his brothers came to Joseph's house, he was still there. They fell before him to the ground. Joseph said to them, What deed is it that you have done? Did you not know that a man like me can indeed practice divination? And Judah said, What What shall we say to my Lord? What shall we speak? Or how can we clear ourselves? God has found out the guilt of your servants. Behold, we are my, we are my Lord's servants, both we and also in the house of hand the cup has been found. But he said, Far be it from me that I should do so. Only the man whose hand the cup was found shall be my servant. But as for you, go up in peace to your father. Then Judah went up to him and said, O my Lord, please let your servant speak a word in my Lord's ears, and let not your anger burn against your servant, for you are like Pharaoh himself. <coughs> my Lord asked the servant, saying, Have you a father or a brother? And we said to my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a young brother, the child of his old age. His brother is dead, and he, and he alone is left of his mother's children, and his father loves him. Then you said to your servants, Bring him down to me, that I may set my eyes upon him. We said to my lord, The boy cannot leave his father, for, he, <coughs> for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And you said to your servants, Unless your youngest brother comes down with you, you shall not see my face again. <coughs> when we went back to your servant, my father, we told him, the words of my Lord. And when our father said, Go again and buy us a little food, we said, We cannot go down if our youngest brother goes with us. Then we will go down, for we cannot see the man's face unless your, our youngest brother is with us. Then your servant, my father, said to us, You know that my wife bore me two sons. One left me. And I said, Surely he has <clears throat> been torn to pieces, and I have never seen him since. If you take this one from me and harm happens to him, you will bring down my gray hairs evil to Sheol, Sheol, hell. Now therefore, as soon as I come to your servant, my father, and the boy is not with us, then, as his life is bound up in the boy's life, as soon as he sees that the boy is not with us, he will die, and your servants will bring down the gray hairs of your servant, our father, with sorrow to Sheol. For your servant became a, a pledge of safety for the boy to my father, saying, If I do not bring him back to you, then I shall bear the blame before my father all my life. Now therefore, please let your servant remain instead of the boy, as a servant to my Lord, and let the boy go back to his brothers. For now, for how can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? I fear to see the evil that would find my father. <coughs> Joseph provides for his and family. Then Joseph could not control himself before all those who stood by him. He cried, Make everyone go out for me. So no one stayed with him when Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept aloud, so that the Egyptians heard it, and the household of Pharaoh heard it. And Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed at his presence. So Joseph said to his brothers, Come near to me, please. And they came near to him, and he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold in Egypt. And now do not be distressed and angry with yourself because you sold me here, for God sent me here bef before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land these two years, and there are yet five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. God sent me before you to preserve you, for you a remnant on earth, and to keep you alive for many survivors. 
So it was not you who sent me here, but God. He has made me a father to Pharaoh, a lord of all his house and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me lord of all Egypt. Come down to me. Do not tarry. You shall dwell in the land of there. Of, of there. You shall dwell in the land of Goshen, and you shall <clears throat> be near me, and your children, and your children's children, and your flocks, and your herds, and all that you have. There I will provide for you, for there are yet five years of famine to come, so that you and your household and all that you have do not come to poverty. And now your eyes see, and the eyes of my brother Benjamin see, this is my mouth that speaks to you. You must tell my father of all, of all my honor in Egypt, and of all that, that you have seen. Hurry and bring my father down here. Then he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck. And he kissed all his brothers and wept upon them. After that, his brothers talked with him. Hmm. <clears throat> when the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers have come. It pleased Pharaoh and his servants. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, Do this, load your beasts, and go back to the land of Canaan, and take your father and your household, and come to me, and I will give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you shall eat of the fat of the land. And you, Joseph, are commanded to say, Do this, take wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones, and your wives and bring your father and come have no concern for your goods for the rest of the of all the land of egypt is yours wow. the sons of israel did so and joseph gave them wagons according to the command of pharaoh and he gave them provisions for the journey to each and all of them he gave a change of clothes but to benjamin he gave 300 shekels of silver and five changes of clothes to his father he sent as follows 10 donkeys loaded with goods of things of egypt Ten female donkeys loaded with grain, bread, and provisions for his father on the journey. Then he sent his brothers away, and as they departed, he said to them, Do not quarrel on the way. So they went up out of Egypt and came to the land of Cain, their father Jacob, and they told him, Joseph is still alive. He is ruler over all the land of Egypt. And his heart became numb, for he did not believe them. But when they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said to them, and when he saw the wagons that Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. There you go. So now everybody knows. That was kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. Played kind of a dirty trick, but he got his. So, there you go. What's what's tomorrow? Just I like to peek ahead, you know? Joseph brings his family to Egypt. Joseph, Jacob and Joseph are reunited. There you go. Jacob's family settles in Goshen. Joseph and the famine. So there you go. So this ought to... Happy, to, happy stuff tomorrow, huh? So there you go. That's today's reading in our Through the Bible in One Year, Day 27. You know... You can kind of get really into get into these older stories, which is kind of cool. And they give you just enough each day to kind of make it like a one of the old serial westerns on <laughs> on TV when I was a kid. So think on that, study on that, pray on that. Check out our Proverbs study if you haven't. Catch up on any of these you might have missed, so you can say you've been through the entire Bible in one year. That's an accomplishment to be proud of. So. Until next time, have a good weekend. See you later.